You ever wished you knew the right knot for the job? Hi, my name is Scott Baker. One of my favorite things of having crewed on tall ships was learning and teaching the art of tying knots. Knots have evolved over thousands of years, each for its own specific purpose. In this program, I'll show you knots that should serve you as well today as they did aboard ship hundreds of years ago. When beginning to learn to tie knots, it's best to avoid ropes such as this. Plastic rope doesn't hold knots well, and that can make it difficult to learn. Instead, choose braided nylon or three-lay nylon, which is available at most hardware stores. Or, better yet, a natural fibered rope such as manila holds knots best. There's some terms you need to know when tying knots. First, any time you make a loop in a piece of rope, it's called a bite. You should also know that the fixed end of the rope is called the standing part or standing end. And this is called the free end. That should be enough to get you started. Let's move on to our first knot. Now we're going to do a reef knot. This is also known as a square knot and is the perfect knot to use for tying together two pieces of rope of the exact same diameter, more preferably the exact same type. You start just as if you were going to tie your shoes by making a simple cross with the two free ends. Now the key here is not to let this knot fall into an overhand. And what you want to watch is the crossing of the ropes at the base that you've just tied. You have two free ends, one crosses in the back and one crosses in the front. Keep that the same when you go to make your next cross. If you make a mistake at this point and cross them backwards, you'll end up with the very dangerous granny knot or overhand that will easily slip. So. Keep your free end that's in the back, in the back when you cross it. The same way you would tie your shoes again and tighten by holding all four ends of the rope. You now have a knot that looks neat and tidy, which is capable of maintaining a good strong pull from both ends without jamming. That's your reef knot. And now a very simple knot, the figure eight. The figure eight is a stopper knot that's used to prevent a rope from going too far through a hole or a pulley and coming undone. Start with your rope through the hole, cross the rope over top of itself, and then again underneath. Take your free end and go back down through the hole you created with the first cross. Tighten by pulling on both ends and you end up with a knot that looks exactly like a figure eight. This will prevent the rope from accidentally going through the hole that you're trying to prevent. That's your figure eight. Don't be afraid to experiment. Combine knots, modify knots you already know, and continue to expand your repertoire so that you'll always know the right knot for the job. <laughs>